Welcome back everyone and happy Thanksgiving. You know, nothing screams the holidays quite like pumpkin spicing everything and drinking. So today we're gonna combine the two and I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious homemade pumpkin spice syrup along with five cocktails to go with it to help you get through this Thanksgiving. But first we need to make the syrup, so let's get to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is put two cups of water into a saucepan. We're gonna add one cup of brown sugar, one cup of white sugar, and we're just gonna stir that in until everything fully dissolves. Now, a note here, if you do have demerara sugar, you can simply just put in two cups of that as well. Once that sugar's fully dissolved, we're gonna add a third of a cup of pumpkin puree, one teaspoon of ground cloves, then one teaspoon of ground ginger, and then we're gonna add a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we're gonna add a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. I like fresh nutmeg, so I just went ahead and ground it myself here. Next, we need vanilla extract. I like to do a full teaspoon. I think most recipes call for half a teaspoon, but I've realized pumpkin spice syrups are pretty heavy on vanilla flavor, so I like to do a full teaspoon in mine. So at this point, you're completely done. Go ahead and transfer it into a bottle or jar of your choice. You can use this for non-alcoholic drinks. You can have it with your coffee, with your breakfast. So many uses for this. Today, we're gonna be making cocktails, so let's go ahead and dive into the first drink. All right, so to start our Thanksgiving day, the first drink we're gonna make is a pumpkin Irish coffee. So your very first step is add some hot water to a tempered glass so you get your glass nice and warm. And then the first thing we're gonna do is add one ounce of our pumpkin spice syrup. And next we're gonna add two ounces of Irish whiskey. I'm gonna be going with Bushmills today. All right, next we're gonna add some fresh coffee uh, almost to the top of the glass here. And I'm actually using Java John's coffee. He's a fellow TikToker. Um, I'll make sure to leave a link to his coffee down below if you guys wanna check that out. Next, grab your bar spoon and we're gonna give this a quick stir to mix everything in together. Mmm, that smells like pumpkin spice and everything nice. So if you guys have seen my content before, you know that I'm all about making homemade whipped cream, but there's something about pumpkin where I just want to go with that good old ready whip, right? Like it just tastes like family tradition. So let's go ahead and top this off with some ready whip. Now for this one, you can sprinkle cinnamon on top. I'm gonna go ahead and go with some ground nutmeg since I just love that little extra bite on this drink. And that my friends is a pumpkin spice Irish coffee. Mm. Now that is how you start your day. Yes, that's really good. All right, let's move to the next one. So we've had our morning coffee, but we're not quite ready to hang out with anyone yet. It's time to treat yourself, get you in the right state of mind. So we're gonna do that with a pumpkin whiskey sour. So go ahead and grab your shaker. This will be a shaking cocktail. And the very first thing we're gonna do is squeeze out three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice. And next we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of pumpkin spice syrup. It's Thanksgiving, so you know we're gonna be drinking turkey in this one. We're gonna go ahead and add two ounces of whiskey. Go ahead and grab your separate tin glass and we're gonna put one egg white in here. If you can't do egg white, you can sub in aquafaba, or if you don't want any foam at all in your drink, you don't really need it. Add in the rest of your drink and we're gonna give this a dry shake for about 30 seconds. Now at this point, we're gonna add some ice and then we're gonna shake it up for about eight to 10 more seconds. Grab a nice cold stem glass for this one. I'm gonna be going with the coupe glass. We're gonna give this one a double strain. And that, my friends, is a pumpkin whiskey sour. Cheers. Mm. That classic whiskey sour flavor, you're definitely picking up on that pumpkin spice. It works really well in this drink. Super simple, super delicious. You should give this one a try. Now it's time to go hang out with our friends and family, but we can still have a good time. Let's make a fun drink. Let's go ahead and make a pumpkin margarita. The very first thing we're gonna do is add one ounce of some fresh squeezed lime juice. And next we're gonna add half of an ounce of our pumpkin spice syrup. And then half of an ounce of your favorite orange liqueur. And next we're gonna add two ounces of tequila. 
add ice and we're gonna give this a shake for about eight to 10 seconds. For this one, I'm gonna add a tagine rim for the glass, which is a mix of salt and peppers. Grab my spent lime from before and just run it around the edge of the glass here. And we're just gonna dump this margarita right back into the glass. So to be festive with this one, we're gonna garnish with some cranberries. And we're also gonna light up some rosemary as well. Now you don't want this to burn it, just kinda smoke it, let the essence come out just a little bit more. And that, my friends, is a pumpkin margarita. Oh yeah. The pumpkin spice, it's a little more subtle in this one. It's just a really good margarita with a little extra to it. I get that rosemary nose. The tahine adds a little spice, a little kick to it. This is crushable. This is really good. I could drink a lot of these and I probably will today. So cheers, definitely give this one a go if you can. Now it's dinner time and you're gonna need something classy and delicious to wash down that dry turkey. So let's go ahead and make a pumpkin rum old fashioned. This one's pretty easy. We're just gonna add a large ice cube into our glass. You can also use smaller ice cubes if that's all you got. And we're just gonna build it out in the glass. And first thing we're gonna do is just add a quarter ounce of our pumpkin spiced syrup. Next, we're gonna do two dashes of bitters. You can do aromatic bitters, even some Aztec chocolate. I'm just gonna go with Angostura bitters for this one. And next, we're gonna add a two ounces of aged rum. I'm just gonna go with Ron Abuelo. I have an Anejo seven year that's really good. Um, definitely use your favorite rum for this drink as it's gonna be one of the dominant flavors here. And with the spoon, we're just gonna stir this right here in the glass. And for this one, we're gonna do a little orange zest. So give that a squeeze, let out those essential oils, rub it around the glass, drop it in. And that, my friends, is a pumpkin rum, old fashioned. Cheers. That's good. That's playing around with the pumpkin pie flavor a little bit, cause we got a little sweetness from the rum. Um, and then you got that pumpkin spice working well with it. The bitters and the orange zest really stop it from being too sweet. So this is a really, really good dinner cocktail for sure. Next, we're gonna move on to dessert and nothing's more traditional than pumpkin pie. So you know we're gonna be making a pumpkin pie martini. We're gonna be shaking up this cocktail, so go ahead and grab a pint glass or shaker tin. And we're gonna start with one ounce of vodka. And next we're gonna add one ounce of brandy. One ounce of our pumpkin spice syrup. Half of an ounce of some heavy cream. And then we're gonna add a quarter ounce of some maple syrup. Let's add ice and give this a pretty hefty shake for around 20 seconds. And next we're gonna break down some graham crackers and we're just gonna break these down till they become like a fine powder almost. And we're gonna do just a little spoon of sugar and a little spoon of cinnamon here. And we're just gonna mix this up and this is gonna be the rim for our glass on this one. All right, so what we're gonna do here is just pour a little bit of maple syrup out on a small plate. And this will help kind of coat the rim of the glass. We're gonna get another little plate and pour out that little graham cracker mix. Take your glass and we're just gonna run it through that. Now we're ready to strain our drink. All right, you should have a little room on the top because no pumpkin pie is complete without some whipped cream. So let's add this on top. And this one you can finish with cinnamon. I'm gonna do a little fresh ground nutmeg just to add a little kick to my dessert here. And there you go, friends, the pumpkin pie martini. Cheers. Mm. That's really good. It does taste like a pumpkin pie. Um, you got the graham cracker, the cinnamon, really all the flavors are there. It's hard to recreate the pumpkin pie consistency, but the flavors are on point. I think you guys are really gonna like this as a dessert cocktail. Definitely give this one a try at the end of the night. 
There you go guys, five cocktails that you can try this Thanksgiving. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel. I really do appreciate it. Have a happy Thanksgiving, be safe, and we'll catch you soon. Cheers.